Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it is starting to get a little chilly here in San Diego. So I'm in the process of switching up my skincare and so I thought why don't I share a little video with you guys so you can get some ideas about how to winterize your skincare routine. So during these cooler winter months, some reports state that our skin can lose up to 25% of its moisture. Like that is a lot of moisture to be losing. And that's happening because we spend a lot more time inside with heating, which is really, really drying for the skin. And also the humidity is low. So the hydration is escaping our body. It's being sucked out of our body. So we need to look at using different skincare products that are going to replenish and hydrate our skin. So for cleansing your face, you're gonna to wanna to use a really gentle cleanser. So I like to use this one from Pacifica. I'll use this in the evening and that's really great for getting off all my makeup and my sunscreen and everything, but it's really gentle and it doesn't like strip my skin of everything. But in the morning, I'm a little lazy and I don't wash my face. I'll just use this hydrating milk from Verst and I'll just put a little bit on a cotton round and then just wipe that all over my face and it'll take off any excess skincare from the night before and then just leaves my face feeling really nice and hydrated. If my under eyes are feeling a little dry and I have the time, I'll put on a couple of these eye masks. I really love these ones from Grace and Stella and these ones are for energizing the eyes. They have sea moss, hyaluronic acid, and amino acids. So I find whenever I use these, my eyes just get really, really nice and plump. So I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but I feel like my under eyes do look more hydrated and just more plumped up and more energized. In the winter months, I'll just use them straight up like this, but in the summertime, I'll keep them in the fridge and it's just like that extra cooling and it just feels really refreshing and replenishing on my skin. So if you're not afraid of the cold, then feel free to do that year round, but I don't like the cold. You know, growing up in Australia, I don't like the cold. So I'll keep my under eye masks on for around 15, 20 minutes. And then after I take them off, I'll just pat in the little bit of serum that's left behind. And then after a few seconds, like 20 seconds, I can then just move on to the next stage of my skincare routine. So even in the winter months, we still wanna keep using our different serums and different products. But of course, we wanna make sure that they're products that are not gonna dry out our skin. So next step, we are gonna slime our face or add some hyaluronic acid. So in the morning, I have been using this new product from Pacifica. It is the Hydro Drew Slime. So this one is made from yam instead of snail slime. So I'm not a big fan of snail slime and chucking that on my face. So I love to just do a couple of pumps of this, put it all over my face, and I find that my skin really, really drinks this up and is really, really beautiful. So if you're looking for a snail-free version of snail mucin, then I definitely recommend checking out this one from Pacifica. Then in the evenings, after I've cleansed my face, I will do a few pumps of the Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid. Any hyaluronic acid is great, but I do like this one. I do find that it's really hydrating and I just pat it in all over my face. And again, my skin just drinks it up. So I really like to use a vitamin C in the morning. This one from Dime is their Hyperglow. It is actually an antioxidant and it brightens with the vitamin C. And I notice when I use it, my skin does look a lot glowier and brighter. But if you wanted to look at some other alternatives, other products I really like are the Lily Anna Vitamin C or the True Skin Vitamin C. And the reason why I'm mentioning these ones in addition to my fave, which is the Dime, is because these both have hyaluronic acid in them. So while you're adding your vitamin C, you're also adding some hyaluronic acid, some hydration. So those are really nice options if you're looking for something that is just a straight up vitamin C with hydration. Alternatively, you know I love Dime products. They're a clean beauty brand and I just love this one because it's an antioxidant and a brightener in one. And in the evening, I like to use a retinol. You know, we cannot 
go on without using retinol. Um, so this one is from Liliana Naturals. And the reason why I put this one in my winter routine is because it is really creamy and it has hyaluronic acid in it. So really, really love this one. I find that it is just so creamy and it also almost feels like a moisturizer when I put this one on. So, so if you're someone that likes to use an eye cream and I personally go on and off using eye cream. So because the winter months are really, really drying, I'm trying to use an eye cream at the moment. So I'm using this one in the morning. This one's from Banish and it is their super, super beautiful, creamy eye cream. And it has peptides, vitamin C and squalane. So a plant-based squalane. So that's really beautiful really really nice and hydrating and in the evening i like to use this one from liliana naturals i'm really loving their products at the moment they're really good quality and they're really reasonably priced which is great because as you know like some skincare can get really really expensive so i really like this one because it's really creamy and that's what we need during these cool drying winter months so i'll just get a little bit of this dab it under my eyes, and then I'll continue with my hydrating moisturizer. So I think we're about halfway through the video. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any Holy Grail products that you absolutely love to use during the winter months, make sure you drop them down in the comments box below because we're always looking for suggestions of new products to try. Okay, so I've got a few options here for moisturizers. So. The one I use in the morning is this one from Dime. It is their Dewy Day Cream. It's really like thick and creamy, but definitely not too much. It doesn't make me feel like really weighed down. But you know, a little thing I'll also do is I'll add a little bit of self tanner. So let me show you. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the moisturizer in my palm and then I'll add some self tanning drops because of course we're always wearing sunscreen so our face, our neck, our, our chest here can get a little pale. So I like to add some of these tanning drops, just a, a few drops in there. And I just feel like this brings back a little bit of vibrance and all of that to our face. So you can do that or not, doesn't really matter, but this is a really, really beautiful moisturizer, super hydrating, glowy, dewy, all those nice things. And of course, in the evening, I use a different moisturizer, just depending on what's happening with my skin. So at the moment, I'm really liking this one from Bay Body. It is their moisturizer that supports collagen production. And I absolutely love the container. I love containers that have this, where you can just, I probably shouldn't make a mess right now, but you can just, you just pump this until the moisturizer comes out. And I just love how clean and nice that is. You just get the little bit off that you need and then it's just nice clean sanitary all of that so I really okay let's just put this on my hand right now <laughs> and the key ingredients are plant collagen a plant squalane peptide complex and jojoba oil so a really nice hydrating we're gonna get plump and beautiful skin so I'll use this one every night unless i'm feeling like my skin barrier is like damaged and i'm feeling really dry or i'm having a rosacea breakout or something and i just need to like have something that's more repairing for my skin and that's when i'll reach for the first day beauty uh, ultra repair cream intense hydration because you know when your skin barrier gets really badly damaged you need to take a break from a lot of skincare, get back to basics and just get your skin barrier fixed. So like I said, I really love this product. It's also super highly recommended by dermatologists for helping to replenish the skin barrier, repair the skin barrier. So highly recommend this one from First Aid Beauty. If you're looking for something to really help you during these punishing winter months. So the next step, of course, is I'm going to talk about sunscreen. So yes, even in the winter months, we still need to be using sunscreen, even though it might not seem as sunny, but the UV index can still be really, really high. So I like to check that on my phone every day or before I go out. I like to see what the UV index is. And but regardless, I'll always put some sunscreen on. So this has been my absolute go to sunscreen for the last couple of years. I absolutely love it. 
So it's the Supergoop matte screen and it is a 40 SPF. And what I absolutely love about it is that it's a mineral sunscreen and it does not leave a white cast because it's got a tint. So it's really nice. As you can see here, it just blends into my skin super easily. It leaves like a velvety soft, like beautiful texture and I can just put makeup over the top of it or quite often I'll just wear this instead of foundation. So I really, really like that one. If you're looking for a new mineral sunscreen, definitely check out Supergoop. And like I said, I love the matte screen. But yeah. And for our lips, during the day, I like to use the Supergoop lip balm. So I find it hydrating, moisturizing, and it has a tint to it. It has a tint, they've got a bunch of different colors, and this one is SPF 30. <laughs> So that's a super goop lip balm really really nice and it doubles as a lipstick the other lip product i'm enjoying at the moment is this one from grace's stellar it is their nourishing berry lip balm or lip mask and it's really nice as well it's thick and it just really locks in the moisture in your lips so that's really nice i'll put it on every night before i go to sleep or if you want you can wear it during the day it does have a little bit of a pink tint to it so that's really nice as well. The other product I really, really love, and I don't have it at the moment, but I'm gonna pick it up at the sales coming up, and that is the Toucha Kiss You Lip Mask. So that is really, really beautiful and hydrating. In the morning you wake up and your lips are just beautiful and plump and like hydrated and gorgeous. But really any lip product that's a balm or an ointment, something like that that's thick and really hydrating, is gonna be fantastic for your skin. Slather that on there and you'll have nice soft lips all winter long. <laughs> okay, so the last category is looking after the skin on the rest of our body. And that's where body moisturizer or body oils come into play. So this one from EOS, is it EOS? EOS, it's a 24 hour moisture body lotion and it's got seven nourishing oils and butters. So that's really nice. I like to put it on within five minutes of coming out of the shower. I'll just pat myself dry, put this all over my body, and then while I'm sort of doing my other skincare and things, this is soaking in. So this is really nice, and it's a nice affordable brand as well. You can pick it up everywhere, but of course I've got my links linked down below. And this is my first time trying pomegranate raspberry and it's really nice and fruity and sweet smelling. But before this, I had the vanilla cashmere and oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful scent as well. Really like silky and mm, vanilla. I love vanilla, really beautiful. So if you're looking for a new body lotion, then highly recommend that. But on the other end of the scale, we have these gorgeous products from Osea. So Osea's Andaria Algae Body Oil is so, so luxe and beautiful. I would just put a couple of pumps of this into my palm, rub it all over my body, and my body just drinks this up as well. Oils are really, really lovely for dry skin as well. So depending on the kind of product you like, if you like a lotion, a moisturizer, or if you're someone that prefers an oil, then you're not gonna go wrong with either of these products. Kind of got like a high-low situation going on. This one is really nice. It smells really good too. And it is kind of pricey, but this bottle lasts a really, really long time because the oil is really kind of thin and spreadable. It's not like a thick, thick oil. So you really can do just a couple of pumps, smooth it all over your body, and you're good to go. So again, another beautiful, moisturizing product for your whole body. So that's all the different products that I'm going to be incorporating into my winter skincare routine to just help keep my skin really nice and hydrated during these cool months where the heat is on and the humidity is low and our skin is just asking for hydration. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. You found some new products to try. Like always, everything is linked down in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.